Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, I was at the shops the other day and this lovely little old lady came up to me and she says, excuse me, can you please help me reach this packet of Lean Cuisine Creamy Atlantic Salmon off the back shelf? So I said, certainly madam. So I took it down and I thought to myself, well, why did she choose the Creamy Atlantic Salmon Pasta over all the other ones. I needed to find out for myself why. So today I am going to do a review on this creamy Atlantic salmon pasta by Lean Cuisine to find out why the little old lady preferred this to all the others. Let's find out why. Well, let's look at the nutritional information. Well, it's looking pretty good. I tell you what, it's only 2.6% fat and only 0.1% is saturated fats. Only 2.5% of this is sugar, and it's only 1,480 kilojoules. So if your average daily intake's 8,700 kilojoules, that's only about a sixth of your average daily intake. So you could have one of these, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you'd be still eating only half of your average daily required amounts. Gee, you'd lose weight doing that. Well, the ingredients on the back are telling me that it's 28% vegetables, 26% pasta, and 10% salmon. It also says that the cheese in this contains milk. What sorcery is this? Anyway, let's take a look inside. See what you get in one of these boxes. Now, this box normally costs about $5 or uh, $4 on special, which is, of course, when I bought it. So it comes in two different containers here and you are supposed to cook them separately. So. You just tear them apart. Oh, gee, I don't know how Granny did that. Maybe she's got like a, a grandson like myself that had to come over and help her. Let's do this. Now, the back of the box says, remove the trays from the carton. Check. Microwave fish and sauce tray for two minutes. Consider it done. Once that's done, shake fish and sauce tray. No worries. Except the sauce is leaking out of this fish and sauce tray. <sighs> Maybe do not do a jingle dance whilst shaking. Now it says to place both trays in the microwave and cook for a further three minutes. All right, well, that's the meal done. Oh, what? Oh, well, no wonder you lose weight eating this. You spend half your energy cleaning up afterwards. Let's take a look. Lots of broccoli and pasta there. And here's the salmon. Mm, straight away, I am getting the most beautiful smell out of this. Wow, that smells delicious. So I'm guessing to eat this, you either eat it separately or you can mix it in a bowl together. How about I just pour this into the rest of the pasta and do it that way. Well, there's the carrots. You've got the broccoli and the pasta there. There's the chunks of salmon here. Now, I think the thing I'd like about this is because it's salmon, you can't really have like fully processed salmon, like bits of chicken, they can mix all together and squeeze it out of a tube and still call it chicken, which it still is, technically. But at least with this, it's chunks of salmon. And look, there's some nice, quite big chunks there. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Hmm, yum. Well, how about I try some? Mm, that smells nice. Not exactly the most flavorful thing I've ever had. Now, generally I'm not in favor of adding salt to anything, but I will add just a little bit of salt to this, just to see how much difference that makes. Makes quite a bit of difference. Now, when you add the creamy sauce to this, it sort of mixes in with the leftover water that was in the broccoli and the pasta, and it sort of dilutes it a little bit. There really isn't too much flavor in this. I mean, the salmon tastes all right. The frozen broccoli and carrots cooked really well, and so was the pasta. 
maybe a little bit too overcooked. The flavors sort of just aren't there and it is a little bit bland. But from my experience, most things like this tend to be a little bit bland anyway. But the thing I like about this is that you are actually getting real bits of salmon inside a meal. And I do love salmon, but I tend not to buy it because it costs so much. This way, at least you're getting little bits of salmon in there with a complete meal for, you know, only like four bucks. And when you look at it, it is quite a well-rounded meal. It's got your pasta and your carbs and your veggies and your fish and your omegas threes. I think when you do think about lean cuisine, the first thing you probably think about is lack of flavor. And well, this lives up to that fact. There isn't too much flavor in this until I added a little bit of salt and then it turned it into quite a delicious little meal. It hasn't got a lot of flavor, but it is 360 grams worth, which is adequate for a meal if you are trying to lose weight and hardly any kilojoules at all as well. So for a quick, easy meal, especially if you're an old granny or an old man like myself or a young person, just keep some in the freezer and away you go. Whenever you're hungry and you feel like a nice little snack, whip one of these out. It's healthy it's got some taste and flavor and it's got that salmon in that most people really do love so for an out of 10 score i would give this six out of ten it's not really that flavorful the cream is diluted by the liquid that's in the pasta and the broccoli but value wise you know four bucks for this that's pretty good and the flavors are okay once you add a little bit of salt to it anyway i hope you enjoyed this review if you did like it let me know by thumbing it up thanks for watching and i'll see you next time for my next review catch you then oh yeah this is greg's kitchen where the review